Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I wanted to start a new series here on my main channel uh, where I strictly look at youth football. Uh, there will be a lot of different types of videos that I do. I'm calling this series Youth Football 101, sort of like my series on Football 101 like I've had here for a few years, but in this series I just want to strictly look at youth football. My first video that I want to do today is on youth football helmets. Now, this topic that I will kind of go over, I'm going to go over, you know, what's the best helmet for starting out, what's the best helmet for, you know, bang for your buck if you're starting out as a new program. Uh, this video is going to be geared towards uh, youth coaches, see if I can help out anybody else, and then as far as I can help uh, parents choose the right helmet if they're purchasing a, uh, a helmet for their child to use in youth football. Um, if you guys have followed me over the last few years on my channel, you'll know that I'm a youth football coach as well as a high school football coach. Um, now doing this for my third year, I've gotten a little more uh, information on helmets over the years. Uh, I kind of know what uh, to look for in youth helmets. Um, this video is going to kind of also be geared towards if you're on a budget, what helmets you can get and still have your players protected at a very good level. Uh, I'm going to look at two helmets here today. Uh, we will look at these in depth. Now, this is not going to be necessarily a review or comparison between these two helmets. These are two helmets that I commonly use within my program, and these are two that I really like. Uh, one being from Riddell, the Riddell Revo Edge Youth Helmet, and the Shut Vengeance DCT Hybrid Youth Helmet. We're going to look at both of these, talk about the price. Uh, what you get when you purchase these helmets, some of the things that you can uh, do with these, and we're going to look at these a little more in depth. All right, so now I'm going to be looking at both of these helmets. I'm going to break them down kind of on their main components of what each helmet offers, kind of compare them to uh, some of the higher grade helmets that you do see. Personally, in my opinion, these helmets, uh, both from Shut and Riddell, are, I think in my opinion, are the best to get for a young youth football player if you're not looking to go out and buy uh, one of the new uh, Riddell Speed Flexes, which can, which just still for a youth football player can run three hundred fifty dollars to four hundred dollars. It's it's crazy. Um, I think for what you do buy, if you're looking to find the most protective helmet, you can find in both of these helmets. I want to start by looking at the Shut Vengeance DCT Hybrid. Um, one thing that you'll be able to tell from a youth helmet, from a varsity helmet, the youth helmets will have uh, at least the DCT hybrid helmets nowadays have the uh, orange, the bright orange liner around the back of the helmet, around the sides, if you can see that. Um, this is what's called their D30 padding. Um, it reminds me a lot of memory foam because if you'll see me, I'll push this down and it'll return. It's kind of spongy. It reminds me of uh, memory foam. Uh, it is very comfortable. I have put these on my head. Um, one thing that is different about Shut is the sizing. Uh, this is a, an extra small helmet, so this is also going to fit like a varsity extra small helmet. And same thing if you had a, a, youth, ex, a, a youth large helmet, it's going to fit the same as a, a varsity large, which is kind of weird, uh, but that's just something that Shut does for their helmets and something that I did notice um, when I was fitting these helmets this year. But Around the top part of the helmet here, the top part of the crown, um, that's going to be the white part. Under that is what's called the, uh, which shuts TPU, and if that's confusing, it's just it's just a type of kind of padding that's, you know, just exclusive to shut helmets. I'm not going to get too technical with some of this stuff. Um, this shell design um, on the top, um, I kind of call it, and I know some people here on YouTube call it, it's kind of like a mohawk design. It is raised. Um, you can kind of maybe tell from the side there, the top part, kind of like the mohawk part of it, is raised up a little bit. Um, I do like that this helmet um, offers kind of a unique shape to it, to its uh, helmet. It does very much mock the same. I mean, it's exactly the same as the varsity level. Um, and when I say varsity, I mean it's what uh, older players are going to use. Um, it does, you know, look a lot like, I mean, it is the same version of the helmet. It's just a youth version of the helmet that's, you can compare to a varsity level helmet. 
but you're getting this helmet at a lot cheaper cost than going out and spending the $250 on the uh, varsity version of this. But uh, this helmet I've seen priced anywhere from $80 to $120. Uh, if you go through a shut representative, uh, if, if you're a coach, you can get these um, for pretty cheap. I got each one of these helmets for $86. I did buy about 12 uh, for this upcoming for uh, last season. They did hold up very well throughout the season. Um, I was very, very happy with how these helmets have um, uh, held up. And if you are, you know, going to buy in store or online with these helmets, you do need to watch out. Make sure they come with an attached face mask because otherwise that could be an extra cost to you. Uh, but if you do go through shut, um, they did not offer a, a chin strap, so I did have to go out and get chin straps for these, but it really wasn't a problem for me. But if you are, uh, that's something you need to watch out. Make sure they have an attached face mask. Um, I want to move on to talk about the Riddell uh, Revo Edge. Now, a lot of people are going to compare this design to the Riddell's Revo Speed, very popular helmet. They do offer a youth version of the Riddell Speed, but... This helmet in itself um, is a lot like the Speed. It has the same shell design. Um, it's kind of got an off raising in the back, um, very like the occipital point of the helmet. Um, it's the same shell. It's nothing really different. It uses the same type of plastic that you know a varsity version does. There's not a whole lot different. Otherwise, if you go and spend the $200 to get the youth version of this helmet, it's going to come with a liner kind of like a foam liner and it's going to look the youth versions are going to be uh, have a gray liner and the adult varsity versions are going to have a black liner uh, personally I don't think you need the liner unless it's just uh, for fitting purposes this helmet in itself is a edge but I did put a I did go out and buy a, a liner for this helmet so it fit a little better on a certain player but um, with this the helmet comes with an attached face mask. It comes with a soft cup chin strap. If you go out to Dick's Sporting Goods, like I did, and purchase these helmets, um, they're going to come everything you need with them, as well as if you go out and buy the Shut Vengeance DCT Hybrid Youth Helmet. Uh, it will come with everything you need if you go out and buy it in stores. Um, but if you do go online, they do offer, uh, you can upgrade your chin strap for about $15, um, a few other things. But in itself, this helmet, Compared to the Speed Youth helmet, I think you know for your price, this helmet really doesn't vary. It's usually about it's you're going to have to pay $120 for this helmet. But if you like Riddell, you want to go the Riddell route. Um, I think a lot of kids like the style of this helmet. It looks like what the pros and what the college players use. Um, and the Speed helmet itself, it's a great helmet to have uh, for you know a youth football player looking to. Um, get a really good protective helmet. And that's kind of my comparison. I'm going to leave you with some final thoughts. All right, so to wrap up this video, hopefully I've made uh, maybe a little difference on maybe your opinion on youth football helmets uh, as far as what I've found have been the best uh, that have worked out for my team. Um, I'm not going to go out and tell you what to buy, but just for these two helmets uh, that are offered by the two main helmet companies that are out there, uh, Riddell and Shutt, I think for what they offer, both of these helmets, the Riddell Revo Edge and the Shut Vengeance DCT Hybrid Youth Helmet, uh, both offer a, a young football player a great protective helmet um, that's going to benefit them through the game. So, oh, if you have any if you have any questions for me, uh, anything that I didn't cover, anything that you want to see more in depth, uh, we can do it in a later video. But um, hopefully, this video helped you out. Um, sorry if it was a little long, but I wanted to really break down both helmets. So uh, with that, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.